Did you know that consumption of marijuana could impact your fertility and hormone levels? Let's discuss in this video very important topic because in our practices we are seeing a lot more young men who are coming to us with the diagnosis of infertility and they are having difficulty in starting their family life. My name is Dr. Kulmeet Kunlas and I'm a primary care physician for last 25 years. Let's imagine a plane which is trying to land and it is defective and the runway is super lighted. The lights are very bright and when the pilot is trying to land this plane, he cannot see it clearly. He misses the runway and crashes and lead to an accident. That's exactly happens when you are a young man trying to start family and you are using marijuana. You need to understand the effects of marijuana on male reproductive health. If you are a constant user of marijuana and it is very disturbing to know that a survey was done in 2022 where it was noted that 44% of young men between the age of 19 and 30 have used marijuana in the past year. And about 21% of them report daily use. And this thing is doubling and increasing at enormous rate. Lot of experts in this field believe because of legalization of marijuana in all states, it has given people moral permission, especially to the young men who are not using it for real reason and spirit why the marijuana was approved. They are using it for iffy indications which are not properly screened and we are seeing the consequences that more and more young male are becoming infertile. If you are consistently using marijuana, you have increased risk of sperm dismotility. Your sperm will be defective and the ability of the sperm to navigate female genitalia is either enhanced or reduced, leading to infertility. Marijuana directly decreases the level of testosterone, which decreases both libido and also sperm count. This is a very serious matter because if a young man start having these difficulties, they will start losing muscle mass, they will be fatigued all the time, they will be tired, eventually they will start losing memory. It is not an innocuous drug and we have given moral permission to use it for more indications than it really should be. After sexual intercourse, when the sperm is ejaculated, it navigates female genitalia based on gradient of endocannabinoid receptors. If, God forbid, your partner is also using marijuana, that will lead to exactly the scenario which I described in plane landing. In that situation, the endocannabinoid receptors will be firing at a much faster speed and your sperm will miss the egg and you will have difficulty in conception. Please make sure do not use marijuana just as a panacea or a very innocuous drug. It is highly addictive and cannabis use disorder is a recognized entity and we are finding it more and more people who are getting addicted to it and leading to complication and most important is the sexual health. Good part is it is reversible. If you and your partner stop using marijuana, you will not have any sexual health problems on long-term basis. I hope you get the message loud and clear that this is not an aqueous drug. You must stop use of marijuana, absolutely. And if you have to use it, get proper medical authorization, get yourself evaluated and only under the supervision of physician. I hope I was of some service to you and I added something valuable to you. I request you to like our channel, subscribe it and share with others. This will keep us motivated to produce 
content similar to that. Thank you very much.